Hello, my name is Tim, and today I'm going to be making rice pudding in the Instant Pot. <laughs> so, for this recipe, for this recipe, so for this recipe we'll be using pudding rice, um, vanilla soy milk, um, just because we had some that needed using, uh, so we'll see what happens, um, vanilla extract and condensed milk. And so we have a cup of pudding rice that's been well rinsed, we'll just pour that in. And we have three and a quarter cups of the vanilla soy milk that we're just going to pour on top of the rice. This is a comedy channel, yeah? It is now. And we're just going to give that a quick stir. Make sure there's not just a huge lump of rice in the middle. So, all we're going to do now is close the instant pot. And we're going to put it on the porridge setting, which is automatically 20 minutes. Then we're just going to leave that to cook. And once it's done, we'll leave it for an additional... Okay, so it's finished, it's 20 minutes, um, and now we're just going to leave it for 10 minutes to naturally release the pressure. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes, we're just going to turn it off and uh, release the steam. So that's the pressure released, um, we're just going to open it up and then stir in the other ingredients. Add a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then I'm going to add a whole tin of condensed milk. <laughs> then we're just going to stir it all in. This has all burnt to the bottom. I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to happen. So Chris has served hers in a Sunday glass with some cinnamon on top. Right. So I, I've put mine in a bowl because I usually like rice pudding with jam and I've got some homemade jam that my mum made last time she stayed with us. So I'm just gonna try it without jam, see what it's like. <laughs> oh. Very vanilla-y. It's sort of like custard, but lumpy. It sounds amazing. This is not bad. <laughs> it's just unusual. Lumpy custard. Lumpy custard, I would say, yes. Mm. Mm. So I'm going to add some homemade strawberry jam. Which turned out very liquid, which is ideal for this, because I can just pour it on top. So I'll try a bit with the strawberry jam. Mm. It's delicious. So while it tastes delicious, it didn't go entirely according to plan because it did form a thick burnt on layer at the bottom of the pan here. <laughs> and I don't know whether that's because of the soya milk we used or I don't know. Um, but it tastes nice, that's the main thing. It'll just take a bit of scrubbing to clean up. Thank you for watching, I hope you give this a try. Uh, if you want details of the recipe, it'll be in the description below.